Scott Longley has been doing business in Boston for over 30 years. He takes the subway to work every day. He says some lines in the city are older than his age and should have been replaced years ago. And here we have a great opportunity to put 150 new orange line cars and 130 new red line cars onto our system. On September the 3rd, China Railway Rolling Corporation broke ground on a rail car factory in Springfield, Massachusetts. But besides CRRC, other Chinese enterprises such as tech giant Huawei and telecommunication equipment company ZTE have also invested in the U.S. market, covering 43 of the 50 states. In the past decade, a total investment of 46 billion U.S. dollars have been made by Chinese companies. Well, I think to some extent it's a natural evolution. It's the increasing maturity of a number of, of Chinese firms that have been very successful in their domestic market, and so then if they want to expand further, they need to expand internationally. Uh, a second factor, of course, is that the government in China has liberalized somewhat on capital controls. China Railway Rolling Corporation products have been exported to about 100 countries and regions. The enterprise has been gradually transforming its operational structure away from just merchandising to now exporting technology and capital, as well as expanding its global operations. In the past, China could only export shoes or socks to the United States. Now we can export a whole series of product services to the United States, including high-end equipment, technology management, capital and services. In June this year, China and the United States made a commitment to exchange improved negative list offers and speed up their bilateral investment treaty. This development should give experts a sense of optimism that the world's two largest economies can wrap up their BIT negotiations under U.S. President Barack Obama's administration. The Chinese investment will rise even above recent high levels and the U.S. will benefit. Uh, they're gaining access to technology or they're creating it themselves by hiring uh, the best people that they can find in the United States, putting them in a very market-oriented, um, high-tech environment that you find in Silicon Valley. Just like Scott, there are millions of commuters in the U.S. who take the subway every day. He says it should be less about where the products are being made and more about their quality. Whether they are from China, the U.S., or anywhere else, it's about fulfilling the everyday needs of ordinary Americans.